Hi there, this is Jody here, and let's learn how to create these 3D section diagrams in Revit very easily in a matter of seconds. I opened the sample files of uh, Revit and I want to create a 3D section for that, but before anything, let me remove the view template that we have to have full freedom on it. And now let's create a section box around maybe, let's just uh, activate the section box in here and let's go to the top view. And in top view, let's shrink down the section box to somewhere around here. And from here to here and here. Now let's see what we have and let's bring the section box up. We just want about three or four, uh, four part. And this is gonna be the one that I want to use and it's it's better to have a good proportion from here and here to have better views. I want to turn off the section box first. I have a shortcut for that uh, for F3, but you can go by VG and you can find the section box in here and you can hide it. But I have a shortcut for it, which is F3 to hide my section boxes. And now let's find the right view for it, for example, in here. And then we have, well, I want to have it on shaded view. So let's put it on shaded and we have the colors in here. And that's great. But the next part is that I want to have some, uh, I want to apply some settings on it. But before that, let's find the right view for our section. For example, maybe this far. And now let's save the orientation to be able to place it on sheet in the right way and to be able to create some dependent views according to this uh, orientation. To do that, let, let's click on this here, this icon in here and click on save orientation like view and let's name it 3D section one and click on okay. And now let's go to the settings and do some visual settings to make it much better or uh, make it more beautiful. The first one is make sure to uh, have the interlacing on and then let's go to the shadows and let's turn on both of them and for cast shadows too, but you can see it is too, the shadows are too dark. So let's go to the lighting and make shadows a little bit lighter, maybe here or even lighter. Now, this is the one that I want. This is the thing that I want and that's okay. And the next part is that you can, when you uh, lock the orientation, you can place annotation, you can place uh, text or anything you want. For example, you can go to the annotation Annotate tab and in here click on text and let's create a text for here. For example, something like this. And you can add some additional information. Let's uh, call it maybe roof. Now let's do some modification in this text to make it more beautiful too. Let's uh, select this one. Let's go to the edit type. The first thing that I want is I want it bigger. So let's put the text size on maybe four and for the color i want to have some red color dark red color in here and for the arrowhead uh, for the tick mark or arrowhead i want a field arrow in here from here and that's the thing that i want let's click on okay and now you can see we have much better one and also let's make it bold to have a better text for our part and now you can select it and you can just create some copy of it. For example, let's create another copy in here. Maybe in this part and maybe in this part and you can change them too. For example, you can change the arrow of it to here. And for example, let's call it a structural beam. And for example, for this, let's call it glass panels. Now I will add some uh, additional and then we can continue. But before going to the next part, make sure to like this video to help us create more tutorials like this and you can access to all of the exercise files on our Patreon. Now after placing some text, let's duplicate from this view and create some additional views for this one. To do that, just let's right click on this one, go to the duplicate and duplicate with dependent. Let's create one view in here and let's create another one. Now in the first one, let's go to the first one and let's turn on the crop view and let's crop this view maybe only for this part. And I want to 
bring them into my sheets and from here to here and let's delete these two and let's do the same thing for the second view that we have let's turn on the crop view again and this part let's create the crop view for lower floors that we've created for example this part and this part you can add some text in here too but that's okay and let's create a sheet in here and let's see the result that we've made let's create a sheet in here and let me bring this sheet in here and let's click on okay now we have three views the first one which is this and let's bring it in and we can create some crop view for this one too and that's better and let's turn off the crop view too uh, the show crop view option and let's deactivate this and let's bring it in here and let's turn off the view title too and now we can bring other two views that we've created for example this one and let's do the same process for all of them and even you can change the scale of these for example let's put this one on 150 maybe to have a bigger one and you can do much more with this and can show more details in here but it depends on you and you got the point i hope this video has been helpful for you and if you want to know some additional tips to your to make your elevation more beautiful make sure to watch this video in here